the one who wears the fox mask. This girl offered her soul to us. What do you s just say? When malice reaches its peak, we'll come for that girl's soul in place of fox face. There is no escaping from us. No matter where she runs, her life will eventually burn out, even if, he sh if she's within your very arms. Damn you! I won't let you lay a finger on her. Your curses are... Your curses as are as worthless and phony as a $3 bill. You got that? Now apologize. Yeah. <laughs> you wish to challenge us? How very interesting. No matter how hard you try to protect her, you will fail. All you can do is sit helplessly by and watch this precious life depart. Now I'm pissed off. You want some of me? I'll take you all on. We'll be watching your vain attempts to drive off our spell. Enough! Shut up! It is time for you to depart, lad. Your world awaits you. Coolio. It's not time to fight. Whatever's. There's lots of brightly lit gravestones. What's wrong, Yuri? Do you have a nightmare or something? No, don't worry. I just had a bad dream. Ah, we're all awake. Alice is in the next room. We're concerned about the change in her mood. We have finally a moment to catch our breath. Being cooped up in a carriage for so long is hard on this old man. My rear end is soul is sore as all get out. Oh, this is actually a pretty small inn. She's not in here. She's gone. Where did she go all by herself? There's no clues. Locked. Kind of sucks. <laughs> the hell would lock their door? Hey, dude. Wonder. I'd also like to unload my inner thoughts here. People will listen, won't they? Care for some acupuncture? No. Well, I know where the acupuncture guy is. So if I get a new weapon, I will be using that to acupuncture. It's the missus with the blue ribbon. She just went out by herself. She said she was going to meet a priest friend of hers. Shopping. All right, let's see what we got in here. We got an Ever Bible for her. Let's see, let's buy that. Discount, yeah. Let's go for all the discounts. Every single discount we can get, we would love. Mmm. Alright, got Oracle Staff for the old guy. Let's get him that. Alrighty. Awesome. Silver Crescent Sword. Awesome. 
There was no weapon for him. That kind of sucks. Bye, 12 of them. Working like an honest man now. Okay, yeah, you've already said that woman. Um, you're going to church? Well, strong faith is a powerful asset. But my lad, Father Doyle, who took care of this church, was afflicted with a sickness of the heart. He shut himself inside and won't show himself to anybody. Even the church is closed up. The door to the church is tightly locked from the inside. Alright, so I guess he's gonna die. She probably broke in. Oh no, that's her right there. Here you are. Hi, Yuri. Sorry to disappear on you like that. Hey, is this place? Yes, this is where my father died. Alice. He died to save me. as if it, it happened yesterday. That evening, Father and I were waiting here for someone. But before that person arrived, I showed up. You. Bacon! <laughs> it's a good name, I like bacon. <laughs> Long time no see. I've been looking forward to seeing you again. Both of you. Congratulations on your rebirth theory. Returning from the graveyard of souls is a laudable feat. Though, of course, Alice here had to sell her soul to the god of death in order to make it happen. Ha! I'm not afraid of that masked freak. Well, thanks for showing up here. It saves me the trouble of hunting you down. It's payback time for killing Alice's father. At ease, young man. I have no desire to fight the two of you today. I merely want to announce myself. Ha! Don't hold back on our account, old man. We're ready to go. Or are you afraid? That's right. I'll give you a full course on the house. Margaret! Hello, kids. So you're okay, huh? We'll talk later. I've got lots of questions for you. Another of your friends, is it? You youngsters multiply like viruses. Fine, I'll play along. Step forward, my servant. Oh, this I'm gonna be fighting. Fighting some servants. Oh, they're using like scythe deals. By froze too. Ooh. That was nice. Alright, killed one. Yay. Hell, you asshole. <laughs> and we'll have her attack. She has like a really thin attack area. It's kind of interesting. Alright, well that that was just a normal battle. There was nothing tough there. Yep. Hey, 
<laughs> You've gained more power. That will make our future meetings more interesting. A word of caution. I will no longer merely be playing along in future fights. So be on your guard. Bastard. He got away again. It's because you fucking let him get away. You just stand there like, boom. He disappears like, damn, he got away again. What was she doing? Whoa. Kind of like that. Uh, yeah. Ah! It's a ghost! Wait, I'm not. So you're real? You look solid. Guess you're not a ghost. <laughs> yep, I'm just as you see me. You're tougher to kill than a cockroach. Well, those are like the easiest things you can kill. Just climb around, just squish it, boom. Pretty dead. The only way you can't kill a cockroach is with a nuclear bomb. Well, I'm glad to see you're alive. How are you doing? How's the drunk old man? He's doing well. He's waiting for you at the end. Great. I've got some crucial information. Let's head back to the inn. Get moving, sunny boy. Okay. I'm coming. Ah. Fuck! Yawns. It's good to see you, Margaret. I sensed a massive cloud of evil descending on the town, so I was a little worried. We ran into Bacon again. You saw Bacon? Did he try to harm you? No, they said hello and went away. Huh? Who is this handsome man? Oh, this guy? He's the master of the castle where I stayed. Yes, I'm the one who took care of the moocher here. My name is Keith, Enchanted Maiden Moisel. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm Margaret, the moocher's babysitter. Nice to meet you, Keith. Why did you go out without saying anything, Alice? We were worried. I mean, uh, please don't be angry with me. But if you'd rather not talk about it, fine. But maybe if we knew more about what your father was trying to do, certain details may fall into place. That day, my father and I were supposed to meet with a certain person. A certain person. My father said this man was a warlock as powerful as Bacon. My father and I traveled all over Europe, exorcising demons. But my father was working on secret missions for the, Va for the Vatican. The Vatican? Um, what's a Vatican anyway? It's in Italy. It's the seat of the Pope, the leader of the Catholic Church. Oh yeah. So, did you actually meet this person? No, Bacon appeared before he arrived. Can I have your attention, everyone? I don't know who he really is, but I've been investigating Bacon closely for the past several months. The first person recorded in history by the name of Roger Bacon appeared in England in the 13th century. He was a priest in the Franciscan order. His scholarly training was at Oxford and Paris universities. His skills as an alchemist and a warlock were superb. His name was known throughout Europe. At that time, he was branded as a revolutionary, but there were also many who felt he was persecuted. It seems he was very critical of the church, and was even imprisoned for it. Huh? That guy is over 700 years old? So he's not human after all. But as I looked deeper into his past, I began to notice some odd things. Roger Bacon may be a peculiar fellow, but in many ways he seems like a very upright individual. It seems that for years he has also aided leading scholars in the fields of medicine and chemistry. Upright. Any way you look at it, the guy is twisted. Why then? Did he kill Asla's father? It doesn't make sense. 
That's it. That's the problem. Finally, in Nuremberg in 1540, something happened that completely changed his life. At the time, all of Europe was caught up in a mass insanity of the witch hunts. Bacon was accused by one of his pupils. Accused? You mean he was put on trial before the church? A pupil warned the tribunal that Bacon's research has gone too far, threatening to corrupt society. It finally ended in his exile. After that point, we can only catch glimpses of him throughout history, such as now, as an e as a force of evil. I see. I guess he got sucked down into the murky black depths of sorcery. So, the question is, this Perkison that Bacon was trying to prevent Alice's father from meeting, what on earth could it be? Wouldn't it be best to ask that person directly? Alice person who introduced Father Elliot to the Mystery Man it was Father Doyle, wasn't it? Yes, but the church was closed and we couldn't get in. Ha ha ha, you fools. Lord Bacon spared your life. Alright folks, Lord Bacon spared your life, yet you still intend to go to the church. I won't let you. Ha ha ha. voice. Arcane Olga. She's watching us from somewhere. Let's hurry. Alright, let's see. Who do we want? Don't want her. We want Keith and Alice. Yeah. All good. It's too bad we can only choose three. That's a pretty problem. Though in reality, they'd all be fighting. Alright, I'm having trouble. There we go. <laughs> Ready, save. Rowan. My tongue's like a little burned, it kinda sucks. Yeah, we don't need anything, sir. Alright, so this is the church right here. The really church is tightly locked from the inside. But he doesn't want to talk to me. Anything like lying on the ground? Lottery ticket. Up oh, battle. Huh. Okay, wouldn't let me go in there. Well, we fought these guys already. They're bifroses or whatever. You know, I don't think I equipped them with the, with the better gear. I should probably do that while I still have the time. Keith had better gear. He had the silver thing. A holy silver sword with special attack power. Cool. And then Alice has the Ever Bible. Holy book embedded with shining blue crystals. Hell yeah. Alright, so obviously this isn't the way to go. Outside? No. It's here somewhere. Just gotta figure out where. Oh wow, another battle. Fuck. I don't these people recognize these enemies. I'm missing something somewhere. You're the acupuncture guy. I don't give a shit about you. Good. Probably go in this room, maybe. Tea of the Holy One. Okay. Let's check this room. It's locked. Save again. I'll figure this out, everybody. I will. It's just gonna take me some time.